Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the triceps muscle, uh, the muscle that attaches on the back of the upper arm. We start by painting on the most medial, deepest head of the triceps. The triceps is made up of three heads, uh, so like the naming process for the bicep, but in this case we have tri, meaning three, and seps, meaning heads. So I started with uh, the deepest layer, and then we're going to build on top of that the other tricep muscles. And there we have the medial head, the deepest of the tricep muscles. Next we're working on the two uh, other heads of the triceps. The lateral head attaches on the posterior surface of the humerus and inserts like the other two triceps on the olecranon process in the elbow, which is the point of your elbow. I'm also painting on here the long head of the triceps. Now the long head of the triceps originates uh, actually on the lateral border of the scapula and inserts like the other two heads of the triceps on the olecranon process. Now the interesting thing about the long head of the triceps is that it crosses two joints. Just this one head uh, is biarticulate. It crosses the shoulder, but also the elbow, meaning that it has to have an effect over both of those joints. You might think about the triceps solely as an elbow extensor, but this long head will also create shoulder extension as well as elbow extension. So. All of the three heads of the triceps brachii attach into one tendon, into the triceps tendon, and that attaches onto the olecranon process. As I've mentioned before, it's the point of your elbow. Brachii means upper arm, so you'll see that terminology popping up in many things that attach on the upper arm. So the triceps brachii. Uh, or the biceps brachii, we also have a muscle that is just called the brachialis. So we tend to have this terminology of brachial or brachii when we're talking about the upper arm. Another example would, the, would be the brachial plexus, the plexus of nerves that runs down the arm. So next we're going to have a look at the movements of the tricep. So here our model shows us tricep extension and shoulder extension and hyperextension of the shoulder. In a moment, she's going to turn to the side and show us the extension from the side to get a better view. Next, we wanted to show how the tricep would how the tricep would work in something like a push-up. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.